Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today I want to show you a nice haul that I recently got at a local store called Dirt Cheap. If you don't know what that is, Google it. And if you're ever in the South Southern states here in the States, do check it out because they have some amazing deals. So let's just jump right into it. It sounds really crazy. Yes, the name itself is just like, ugh, why would I wanna go there? And I've driven past it. And when I first moved to Nashville, I've driven past one. I'm just like, I, I didn't even bat an eye. I was like, oh, a little chicken, cool. Okay, I, want, I, I like, didn't even think about it. My friend who lives here told me about it and I showed up one day. I spent like three or four hours at Dirt Cheap. <laughs> you know how I talked about Last Chance and it's like, you know, an overstock, everything flows to Last Chance after from Nordstrom to Nordstrom Rack and then clearance on Nordstrom Rack and it goes to Last Chance, right? This is something very similar. It's just not owned by Nordstrom. They do get a lot of stock from them. Um, but basically they buy out and, you know, truckloads of stuff like from stores that are closing or past seasonal, you know, items. And they shuffle it all over to this place or this chain called Dirt Cheap. I know they're in Alabama, Florida. They're in, uh, obviously here in Tennessee. Uh, I think there's one in Texas and there's various names to it. There's like Treasure Hunt or Pirate Hunt. I, I can't remember, but Dirt Cheap is the one I know the best. And you go in there, I'll you know post some screenshots. It is a train wreck in there, but it's like a treasure hunt, right? Um, but you're just like, why, why am I here? Like, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because it is so ridiculous in there. They've gotten, you know, things from Target, from Macy's, from Nordstrom's. They even have Amazon returns. You literally have to go sifting through, right? The first time it was just overwhelming with just things being left and right and your eyes can't focus anywhere. <laughs> but I've been there multiple times and I've gotten a hung, hang of it. I know what sections to look for what, and you really do have some to spend some time there. So I just want to show you the most recent haul um, that I got, and these are fantastic. You're going to love it. So I'll talk about the first thing uh, here, which is the Shark Hyper Air Dryer. I am a diehard Dyson fan. I have the Dyson hair dryer. I freaking love that thing. I must have the Dyson vacuum. And I didn't really think about other brands. I've used like, you know, the Samsung one is kind of crappy. There's other brands I've used. And I've never, I, and when it comes to hair dryers, I know um, the Revlon one, the blowout one, I forget what it's called, is really popular. I've used that one before, not a fan. Um, but this Shark hair dryer, I want to say it is super comparable to the Dyson. So if you ever wanted a Dyson and it's just like, am I really gonna spend $400 on a hair dryer and you don't wanna spend that money? Consider the Shark one because I feel like this is as good as the Dyson. It is a little bit heavier, but the strength of the air being blown in your face and how powerful it is, very comparable to the Dyson. This one retails for $200 and it comes with a precision air, uh, style and then you can flip it over and it's pre-style. I don't really use this one in particular. I want the full blast and I just take this attachment off. And then once I'm ready to blow dry my hair straight, instead of using a brush and a hair dryer, which I do with my Dyson, I use this attachment. And I really like this attachment because it doesn't, snag your hair like the Revlon one does. So you just basically pop this on, you can twirl it left and right, and voila, your hair is gorgeous. If you really want to, you can pop that off and then you put this back on. I've done it before, but I'm too lazy to do it most of the time, but you can do the precision style and then um, blow over the top of your head to get the flyaways to sit properly. So yeah, like I said, this one is going to retail for $200 and I was able to find this at Dirt Cheap for $80. Isn't that crazy? 
I was so excited. Um, the thing about Dirt Cheap, if you, again, ever visit one, if you get any electronics, everything is final sale. So you want to make sure you go to the testing table and make sure the items work. Because I did find one, like a Dyson hair dryer. I don't, why would I need another one? I don't know. Because it's like 80% off. Of course I need another one. <laughs> I was so excited to find a Dyson hair dryer there. And I frantically ran over to the outlets to try to see if it worked. Unfortunately, it did not work. So I didn't end up purchasing that. But this is a really good find. So moving on over to the shoe section. So again, like I said, they do buyouts from like Macy and Nordstrom's and all of these, um, you know, department stores. I was able to find these Stuart Weitzman super cute shoes. You know how I talked about the Kohong ones? Um, and I'm a big fan of those. And this is very similar style. And guess what, how much these are? These were $25. Isn't that crazy? For a pair of shoes that's made in Spain. And I think these probably retail um, maybe over $200, I want to say. I can't remember. But for Stuart Weizmann, right? I know Stuart Weizmann goes on sale quite often. But usually if you find them at Nordstrom Rack, they're really ugly or it's not like a style you would want that can go with a lot of outfits. And they usually are even on discount over $100. So these were $25. Can you, can you hear my excitement? <laughs> so yeah, I was very happy with these. And let me pop over to show you how, what the madness looks like when I was there stuffing through all of the shoes. So this is the madness that you'll see at Dirt Cheap where all of the shoes are piled up and they're all listed at $25. And then kids shoes are $6, which I got a couple pairs for my nieces. None of the sizings are in their correct place. So you really have to spend some time opening every box, taking a look at the sizes um, and see if they are your size. Found a pair of Uggs um, house slippers, weren't my size, but I just wanted to show you they are brand new and they're only $25. Normally these go for, I want to say a hundred bucks. Maybe they go on sale for like $80. So that's pretty, pretty good deal, right? I found these Shurs um, for $25, not my size. No, they're pretty popular. And here are a pair of Kohans which are again $25 completely brand new so yeah that was crazy right that is the the train wreck of dirt dirt cheap but again it's a treasure hunt and I live for the thrill of finding a good bargain like these I also got these Kohans um so again if you've seen my top five best my, my favorite pair of shoes or my favorite shoes for all occasions i did feature the kohan go to park pumps that i wear for work my original pair this is a new pair that i got from dirt cheap this past week the original pair got shredded it is so beat up that i was actually looking for the same pair in a new one i went to the kohan outlet just to see if they were on sale they were not they were still like 120 dollars um, with no promotion. So I was like, mm, okay, I can wait. Like I will, you know, wear other shoes for work. These were $25 and I found them at their cheap. So I was ecstatic that it's the color I want because it's the same as my original pair. And it was in my size. I mean, how lucky it's, it pays to have massive feet. I'm like size nine. Um, but Kohans, I do need to go up to size nine and a half, especially for heels. So yeah, again, if you have massive feet like me, you can always find a bargain. So let's move on to the bag. Remember how I've been obsessing over the Coach Lunar bag and I want it in white. Obviously this one is not in white, but I will settle, but <laughs> I will definitely settle for the price I paid for this particular bag. This is the Coach, oh, this is the Coach Lunar bag. Um, so this retails for $395 and I was able to get this at 60% off. So it comes out to be $118 and I know they go on sale at like Macy's all the time, but it goes down to, I think, $145 and after tax, whatever, shipping or whatever, it comes out to be like $170. I'm just like, eh, I kind of don't want to pay $100. 
you know, something dollars, right? So I was ecstatic to find this one uh, at such a cheap price because I could definitely use this during the winter or come fall time. My friend got a Tumi crossbody for like $80 and I think those retail for like $200. And then they also had, you know, designer bags like uh, I've seen a Saint Laurent, a Saint Laurent wallet that was like 40 or 60% off. So they have really good deals. You just have to like basically show up and see what they have. Um, so that was a really good deal. So I'm really happy to get a lunar bag that I've been, you know, wanting for for quite a long time. At a discount, I'm happy to try it out at full price. I did not want to pay, make try out a bag that uh, is at full price. So that's a really good good deal as well. The other item I wanted to show you is this fellow kettle. We drink a lot of coffee. We drink a lot of tea. So this is something that is a staple in our household where we want to have hot water at all times. And if you haven't used one of these, I mean, look at this. This is just aesthetically pleasing to look at as opposed to one of those, you know, cuisine art water boiler, which I do have that one and I've used it for years. Nothing wrong with it. This is just much prettier, right? This retail for $165. I had to look it up. Um, and I was able to purchase this for $80. So basically a little over 50% off. And of course I tested it to make sure it worked. So I was ecstatic to get this at 50%-ish per 50-ish percent off. I hope this was helpful. I always want to share a good deal. Um, again, if you're ever in the Southern States and just look up dirt cheap, you know, see what treasure you can find while you're there. Not every store is good, I will tell you that. So definitely take a look at the Google Photos to see if it's a good one. It is totally a hidden gem. Um, hit that like and the subscribe button. Check out some of my bag reviews here and then whatever the YouTube algorithm thinks that you'll like here on my channel. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and less than retail. I'll see you next time.